Here we're going to see how we can use Excel to determine thermal conductivity for a tapered bar. Let's pretend that we actually ran an experiment and we had a measured heat duty of that particular run to be 100 watts. And say the small tapered end of our bar is 0 0.02 meters. The larger end of the tapered bar is 0 0.04 meters and the total length of the bar is 0.28 meters. Our first data point, which we'll call X1, is located on the bar at about 0 0.05 meters from the bottom. And at that particular location, say our measured temperature was 150 degrees C at steady state. We can calculate our alpha term given by the formula that we've seen in the previous PowerPoint and also our value of U sub 1 given by the data above. Below we have a data table of our experimental data and our model. This is the distance that we're going to use in terms of meters from our first data point at 0 0.05 meters up to about 0.28 which will be our length. We have experimentally measured temperatures given in this column at those positions. We can calculate U at any position along the, the, the bar with the formula above. And then also we can calculate using the model what the temperature should be at that particular position as well. What we want to do is adjust the value of our thermal conductivity K and so that it fits our data the best. And so what we are going to do is take a look at our model prediction of temperature and our experimental prediction of temperature and we're going to calculate the error squared between these two measurements which is given by this equation right here. And so for each place on the bar where we have an experimentally measured temperature we can calculate our error squared. What we want to do is minimize the sum of the error square by adjusting our thermal conductivity K. And we do that by summing up this column. And this will be the total sum of our error squared. In this particular type of problem, it's best to give a non-zero value of K. And then we'll use solver to adjust it in order to fit our data the best. Plotted on the graph here is the data points is our experimental value and the solid line is our model. So let's take a look at how we can use Solver to fit our model better. So under our data menu we can go to our Solver and have it adjust the value of the uh, variable K so that our objective function, which is the sum of the square of the errors, is minimized. And we hit solve. And we find that it has converged to a solution, so we select OK. And now we see that our model fits our data very well. So our value of K of 342.5 is the best value for fitting this data.